Hey there guys, welcome back to another awesome video, and it's time for another movie review. And today's movie review is going to be of Birdman. So Birdman, or the unexpected virtue of ignorance, is about a fallen actor named Riggan Thompson, who's just trying to make a comeback in his career. So this movie is directed by, and apologies in advance in case I butchered this guy's name, that is Alejandro G. Inarardi. And the only thing I can think of that he's most notably known for is The Revenant, which is kind of funny because this movie came out in 2014 and a year later he makes The Revenant. And I gotta say, just like Riggan Thompson, this is Michael Keaton's Icarus, his fallen grace. Because Michael Keaton is unhinged in this movie and it's quite a phenomenal performance, especially when this movie has so many parallels and reflections on Keaton's career most notably as Batman. Rick and Thompson as Birdman shares a lot of similarities to Keaton as Batman and how that role turned him into a big name actor and of course being one of the most iconic roles too. And not only that, but this also reflects on him trying to make a comeback in his career. Now that scene is very ironic because not only one, Batman has been notably compared to Iron Man various of times, but two, three years later from this movie, Keaton would go on to play as Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming, going up against Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. But like I said, Michael Keaton is unhinged. And especially when he's riled up rivalry against Edward Norton's character and Edward Norton's preference being unhinged too. The dynamic between those two is electrifying. Emma Stone is phenomenal. Zach Galifianakis is phenomenal. It's no wonder this movie won various of Oscars or had various of nominations, especially for Michael Keaton. And you get a sense that Keaton can relate to Riggan Thompson, not just only because of the Batman similarities, but also perhaps Keaton feels irrelevant. Or more importantly, he might feel he'll be forgotten, like he doesn't have a fan base anymore, or he doesn't have fans at all. But that's not true at all, Michael. And I know he's not watching this, but if you're watching this, man, I am one of your biggest fans. I have to be, I might have, I might quite just be your youngest, if not one of the youngest fans of yours. But my point I'm trying to make is, you have fans out there, you have a fan base, dude. People love you still. But in all seriousness though, Michael Keaton is one of my favorite actors of all time. And I find it very interesting how this movie has a, has a subtle social commentary too and has a fantastic s instrumental scoring and has great transitions. And this isn't really a nitpick per se, but I find it very confusing on Riggan Thompson's sort of power. However, I think that's meant to be very ambiguous, just like this movie's ending is meant to be very ambiguous and left for interpretation. So I'm gonna give Birdman an A. So Birdman, have you guys seen it? What did you think of it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button if you're new to my channel. Please subscribe. I do awesome videos every day, every week. Make sure you ring that bell. I'll be doing new videos every day, every week. Share the video with your family and friends, all that good stuff and more. And leave your suggestions in the comment section. You name it, I'll look into it as soon as I can and as soon as possible. So look out for more reviews and look out for other things coming your way. And hopefully by the time this is uploaded and by the time this is rendered, my laptop will be fixed because most of my thumbnails that I personally make and I personally create are on my laptop. So hopefully once that's, like I said, once this is uploaded, once this is rendered, that will mean that my laptop is fixed or something of my laptop is working fine or working smoothly. That will mean some more gaming perhaps, 
maybe some more live streams, some more live Q and A's, all that good stuff and more. Also the other things, also the goodies coming your way, other things I'm gonna experimentate with this channel, maybe some more reactions, some more awesome news. We'll see what happens once this ball gets rolling. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.